Hello, this is Luke83, and I'm here to show you how to create custom map blocks for using Dashiva's Map View. Now, I did a previous video on this, but the quality wasn't great, so here we go again. Okay, first open Map View, go to the Edit option, and click on Paths. This is where we add our extra map blocks. From there, go to the Map Files tab and open up the bottom UFO terrain so you find the jungle. There, right click on your mouse and add new map. Now I'm going to type in jungle underscore 13. Eventually. And give it a height of 10 by 10 by 4. Now once that's done, you'll see that the... Oh, there's an existing one. Overwrite that. The image list for that new map is empty. We need to add the jungle MCD set back to the map. And then I'll add the barn in there as well, just like I did on the previous video. So we'll find jungle, add that, and now we'll find barn. Alright, once that's done, you hit save. You'll see it says saved map edit dot dat at the top of the thing. Close that down. Okay, now go to the jungles tab and find that new map. Alright, so you can see all the windows are open and ready to go. I'm going to scroll to the very bottom level and put my ground down. So I'm just going to highlight, highlight all the grids I want to fill in. Just make sure I select ground and then hit fill. Now I have ground. Now I'm going to do a really quick building. So just click on west wall and I'm going to place some walls. So click on the west option and select an area, edit, fill. Do the other side as well. Alright, so there's some north walls as well. Just pay attention that every time I switch between walls, I've got to switch switch to which uh, box I'm using. So if I'm adding a west wall, it needs to go in the west box. And I need to add some corners. They also go in the west field of each map tile. I've just realized I'm using the wrong kind of wall. I wanted a jungle to use the wooden walls. So I'll just switch these over very quickly. So I changed the wall option by double right clicking on another existing object. Place the door. Throw a few windows around the house to shoot of, out of or be shot through. Alright, next step is we need some dirt. Switch back to ground, edit, fill. Highlight where I want it, edit, fill. Notice I'm quickly switching between levels, that's using the scroll wheel. A very useful function. So it's the scroll on the mouse. Once again, highlight where I want it, fill. Next level up, I now have a roof. Save that. Okay, next we're going to take some shortcuts and just copy some terrain from other maps using the copy function. And we'll paste it back onto our new jungle block. This makes it quicker than doing everything piece by piece. Oh, 
also add this tree. And where am I going to put it? Looks like I'm having a bit of a uh, blonde moment at the moment. Get this right in a second. And I'll copy the top of the tree because it's got a few separate pieces in it. Hit the wrong button. Try again. Paste it in this time. I actually got it right. So there's my basic map built. Save that. Get rid of the top view window. We're going to switch to RMP view so we can do the spawn points. Okay, so we're going to add a few points around the map. to connect them to the outside edges so we can connect to the other maps. So these, these red lines um, allow the aliens to travel into this map lock from external map locks to make one big battle map. Put one there, another one there. So from there, we're going to connect all these little map nodes together. And you'll notice I link them back to each other. That allows the aliens to walk both directions. If I only link one way, the aliens will only travel one way. So you always got to connect A to B and B back to A to get the aliens to walk both directions. Also, you'll notice uh, I'm jumping around rather quickly with where they're connecting to. That's using the scroll wheel as well. Makes things rather easy to do. Okay, now I need to add some spawn points. So, this one's going to use small types of soldiers. Spawn 1. Now, I, I really don't know what spawn 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 does, or what the flag tab does. Never needed to use it. What I normally do is, when I start a map lock, is have a look at how the rest of the nodes are set up in, say, the rest of the set. So, if I'm doing another terror site, I have a look at how everything else is set up, and then try to mimic that. Keeps me pretty safe. Gonna reconnect those. Save. Alright, so now we're ready to try this in Open XCOM. So, wrong folder. 
I'll just grab those files and copy them into a game folder so we can test it. Right, so looking for the maps file folder. There it is. Grab that newest map I made. Copy that. Okay, paste it into one of my newer game ones. Another. Let's copy from the other map into this map, <coughs> and copy the other route path into this route. So every map block has a, a map function, which is where you design your block, and the routes is your nodes and connections and spawn points. Once they're in, we'll go to the rule sets, and we'll just add the extra map into that. So I'm just going to search for jungle because that'll make things quicker. go down there it is jungle I've already got barn added and my last map I made for the other video is there as well so copy that rename this one and change the sizes this maps a bit smaller get rid of this unwanted line and we'll save that Alright, let's uh, see what it looks like in game. There we go. So I'm going to press D because I've got debug mode activated. There we go, there's my two new map sets in my jungle map. So there's the new one I made just then, and here's the one I made in the first video which I had complaints about quality of the video which is fine. Hopefully this one's going to be a little bit better, there's another one. Alright so that's how you add map blocks. Hope you found this tutorial helpful, we'll uh, expand this expanded set a little bit further in the next video, thanks.